the first semi-final of the women's AFCON. Zambia taking on South Africa to determine who makes it to the final of the women's AFCON. We'll have a look at the highlights as Zambia and South Africa, who are both qualified for the women's World Cup already, look to take it all here in Morocco. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Click on the notification bell to get more updates. This Total Energy's Women's Africa Cup of Nations semi-final is underway. It is Zambia against South Africa. It is an opportunity for one of these two sides to advance to the final for Zambia. But yet again, the South Africa is just showing a great impetus up front. Here's Tembo, great pace. Down that far flank again, Grace Chandler getting into a good position. So too, Lubanji is there and this one is deflected wide. That an incredible chance for Zambia. They failed to take it but showing their prowess down that left flank again and South Africa's defence left scrambling. And this is a move started 70 metres from the South African goal. It's always brilliant to see and so it's just to watch how Mapepa and Tembo down that left flank just have this understanding when Mapepa tucks in midfield Tembo automatically knows that she has to give the overlap but a beautiful cutback. Nobody there. Sipusenwe drifts towards that left flank. Lovely skill from Everin Katongo. Chisamba, they call her. Oh, this has been gifted to Grace Chanda. Grace Chanda with a shot here, and Andy Litlamini to the rescue for South Africa. And she went, but this was a moment ago. Glorious chance gifted to Zambia. Sma just really failing to get that one uh, under control, and I think uh, the coach wouldn't be pleased that just the tick. Super Senwe. Natalia Smith has got herself in a little pocket of space. Samini floated ball. The tall players go up. It's goal bound, but it's well handled by Musonda. Tembo. Look at Lungu. Here's Mapepa, gifted a little bit of space. You don't want to be doing that. She is so ridiculously quick. And Uchuba Lubanji thought she'd have a go from a long way out. Has dropped the fielder. Indeed, she floats the ball in. The header is there. It looked to be on target, but it's lacking in any power and comfortable for Musonda. Rafila just does really well to float that ball, communicated quite early with Noko that it was coming to her. And in that instant, the likes of Jermaine, um, Melinda as well. Mutlalo. Mane again, looks to pick out Rafila Ejanu, who's making a decent run on that far flank, is uh, Klesane. Runs onto it, first time ball, Super Senna overruns it here, Jane with a hit, it's off. Tembo quickly up towards Mapepa coming across and Mbani's missed out this ball. Mapepa has gone gliding beyond her as we break into the final five minutes of this opening half. Mapepa keeps this ball in play. It's out for the corner, surely. Mapepa with another telling run. Mapepa with a brilliant run and we did indicate that the Zambians definitely love to have a go at uh, the South Africans but of course she continues to drive the ball until she's waiting just for a commitment and unfortunately fails just to connect with the Chanda over it a little closer to the goalkeeper this time it's coming down on Uchumba Lubanji who heads the ball goal bound but Andy Litlamini is able to pluck that ball out of the air it lacked power and South Africa can breathe a collective sigh of relief Bunji got up highest, but Nukuma two changes and what they might bring for South Africa in the second half as Belemu drops this one a little short. Uchumba Lubanji looks to turn it out to Mapepa. Zambia looking dangerous here. Mapepa might drive wide. She does indeed. Gets the shot in here and it's straight at Andy Lidlamin. Zambia have created a golden chance to score. Here's South Africa's opportunity potentially. Ball out wide by Mutalo. Back from Mahaya. Jane tries to drive from range, but it's drilled wide of Musonda's goal. Oh, a little more intensity from South Africa, but they failed to break into that 18-yard area, being forced to shoot from range. Yet again, it's just how quick the Zambians get. Linda Mutlalo. Delivery into Tlesane, who's in a danger area here. She goes down, but the referee... 
has pointed to the penalty mark. South Africa, against the run of play, have won a penalty here. Delivery. Sasane in behind the Zambian defence. Mwemba has been adjudged to have fouled Sasane. The contact came outside. Mm, I suspect we are going to have uh, VAR first. Indeed, the indication has come. It is a free kick just outside the 18 yard area. That is improving the accuracy. A roar of delight and approval from the Zambian fans. There's confirmation of the set piece on the edge of the 18 yard area. Super Senwe looks to direct it and it's been deflected away by the wall. Out for the corner it goes. Super Senwe just taking her time to really suss out where she could really lob the ball over, but she just. Dongo can't control after Willowbe brought the ball down for Zambia. Matlalo, Fuale. Super Senwe looks to send this ball into the path of the very basic Tessane. Oh, delivery is decent, certainly better than decent. The keeper. And very well circulated uh, by the South Africans. Uh, Jermaine just locating Nogolo with the inch perfect cross into that 18 yard box, just locating that penalty spot. But here, yeah, just a tip for the goalkeeper. At full international level for the women. They have now booked a ticket to their first ever FIFA Women's World Cup. Now to take a step further in the continental competition. Grace Chanda looks to get a shot away here and it's not very far away from scaring Zamini in the South African goal. Once again you see the combination of uh, Chanda as well as Mapepa on this left hand side as they always really try to get those combination plays but Manani Mbani just really caught there. Just muscled out of it Zandile, just a close, close, close scare. But yet again, the South Africans need to make the pass back to Huale. The limo remains down. South Africa play on. Here's Super Senwe. Super Senwe looking to create space. The feedback. And now South Africa with a glorious chance. Well saved by Musonda. Fantastic save by the Zambian number one. And the South African bench cannot believe that they are not in front. What a save. What a time. The interplay from South Africa wonderful industrious oh so pleasing to watch but no finish this time you look at uh, how Hilda combines here with Jermaine look at the weight of the pass from Jermaine just putting it right on her path exchanges for her left foot really gets it enough power but Musanda stands firm under control Tassane lovely ball here Tassane towards the path of uh, Super Senwe referee saying that the uh, set piece was taken just a little bit too quickly there seems to be a VAR check on this incident and fair enough from the defender standing her ground deflected super soon we're just trying to work that ball back into the path of one of the two South African Back onto the field she goes. Penalty! Penalty has been awarded. South Africa finding themselves cheering at the opportunity to go in front in the closing moments of this match. Jermaine Supersenri with a charging run. Tembo seemingly standing her ground. Need the initial block on the ball. It came across. The path of uh, Super Senwe, and the referee has determined that a penalty is against South Africa previously in the Kusafa Cup. Can she do it again? Mutlalo for South Africa has tucked this ball home confidently. She's got a second of this tournament. Both have come from the penalty mark, but South Africa, importantly, lead deep in added time at the end of the 90 in this semi. Just to put the South Africans in front, but once again, VAR playing its cause, making sure that they rectify a call. South Africa up front. Linda Butalo tucking that ball comfortably into the back of the Zambian net. She scored. Lamini brings the ball under control. 
referee will be looking at her watch. Bear in mind, this additional time being played in added time owing to the time spent looking at the VAR, but that is it, that is the final whistle, Zambia conceding late in this tie South Africa advanced to their fifth final at the Women's Africa Cup of Nations is it to be fifth time lucky for South Africa who remain alive they have made it five wins from five and they march on to the final relatively confidently they will however need to deal with many of the questions that were raised with their opening half Zambia lose Zambia have lost to South Africa who are through to the final of the Women's AFCON I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.